contains the word al-jabr, meaning completion, from which the Latin word algebra is derived. In the book, Al-Khawarizmi explains how to use algebraic Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reactions. Other than reactions, we've also got a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. We do, um, we post weekly vlogs. We also do other things like on um, Patreon. Let me know how you guys want us to do or go about this Patreon thing. Should it be free? Should be charged? And just let us know. You can find us on social media, Funny and Jesse podcast, diving in with Funny and Jesse, and just enjoy and click the links for everything that I've said. You can find the links in the description box below. Um, I hope you guys are doing all right. A big shout out to people that suggest things. A big shout out to people that um watch our videos from start to end or even just halfway thank you to everyone that's been commenting giving us things to, to do thank you very much and the biggest shout out to the people that um subscribe each and every day thank you on 13k and i'm sure we can reach 20 with you guys help so yeah thank you thank you thank you i hope you're good you're all right and may you stay blessed as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to top five monthly inventions 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 that changed the world so without wasting time let's get into the video top five muslim inventions that changed the world number five hygiene washing and bathing are religious requirements for muslims which is perhaps why muslims perfected the recipe for soap which we still use today they combined vegetable oils with sodium hydroxide and aromatics such as thyme oil. Shampoo was also introduced to England by a Muslim who opened a bathhouse on Brighton Seafront in the year 1759. He was also appointed shampooing surgeon to Kings George IV and William IV. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also popularized the use of the first toothbrush. Using a brush-like twig from the miswak tree, it is known to clean the teeth and freshen the breath. Substances similar to the miswak are still used today in modern toothpaste. Number 4. Optics in Photography The ancient Greeks thought our eyes emitted rays, like a laser, which enabled us to see. The first person in history to realize that light enters the eye rather than leaving it was a 10th century Muslim mathematician, astronomer, and physicist Ibn al-Haytham. He invented the first pinhole camera after noticing the way light came through a hole in window shutters. The smaller the hole, the better the picture. He worked out and set up the first camera obscura, from the Arabic word qamara for a dark or private room. The Muslim scholar Abu al-Hasan known as al-Hazin from Basra was also the first person to describe how the eye works in detail. He carried out experiments with reflective materials and proved that the eye does not sense the environment with sight rays as scientists had believed up until then. He also discovered that curved glass surfaces can be used for magnification. His glass reading stones were the first magnifying glasses ever made. It was from these that the glasses were later developed. Number 3. Hospitals and Free Healthcare The first modern hospital with nurses and a training center was in Cairo, in the Ahmed ibn Tolan Hospital, which was established in the year 872. The hospital provided free care for anyone who needed it, a policy based on the Muslim tradition of caring for the sick. Although slightly more basic hospitals had existed prior to this in Baghdad, it was a Tolan hospital which would later serve as a template for all hospitals around the globe. Soon after the creation of hospitals, around the year 1000, a Muslim doctor known as Al-Zahrawi published a 1,500-page illustrated encyclopedia of surgery that was used in Europe as a medical reference for the next 500 years. Number 2. Education In the year 859, a young princess named Fatma al-Firhi founded the first degree granting university in Fez, Morocco. Her sister Maryam founded an adjacent mosque and together the complex became the Al-Qarawiyyin Mosque and University 
Still operating almost 1,200 years later, the center is a reminder to people that learning is at the core of the Islamic tradition. Number 1. Algebra While many people may not particularly appreciate the importance of algebra, it is one of the most important contributions of the Muslim golden age to the modern world. It was developed by the great scientist and mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi, who lived from the year 780 to 850. In his book, The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing, he set forth the basic principles of algebraic equations. The name of the book itself contains the word al-jabr, meaning completion, from which the Latin word algebra is derived. In the book, Al-Khawarizmi explains how to use algebraic equations with unknown variables to solve real-world problems such as zakat calculation and inheritance division. A unique aspect of his reasoning for developing algebra is the desire to make calculations mandated by Islamic law easier to complete in a world without calculators and computers. Al-Khawarizmi's books were translated into Latin in Europe in the 1000s and 1100s, where he was known as the Algorithmi. The word algorithm is based on his name and his mathematical works. Without his work in developing algebra, modern practical applications of math, such as engineering, would not be possible. His works were used as math textbooks in European universities for hundreds of years after his death. Thank you for watching our top 5 video. Please remember to like and share this video and check out our previous video on the top 5 misconceptions about Islam. Very, very interesting. I was thinking, um, all this is new to me. Also, I was wanting to ask, is this also new to you guys? Because when you think about it, our history has been changed so much to the extent that our own history has been removed from these books. We are either learning about Americans, Europeans, you name it. So, if you guys know about this, so let me know. If you guys are aware about these facts or discoveries or inventions, let me know. Otherwise, I think it's only right that we people know our history, that you people know your history, that each and every particular people in this world or group of people in this world know their history. History reminds you of what you are. You don't have to live by it, but it reminds you of where you've come from. Otherwise, this was a great short video very very interesting let me know what you guys think about the facts if they are true or if they're not true or if you believe them or not make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video